hello, hello. Welcome in. How's everyone doing? Hello. Hello, friends. How are we today? Okay, we had Bonk was first today. Bonk's going to a really cool concert today. So we say hi and bye to Bonk. That's my coffee that I'm having. I need another one chat. Kimmers, I hope you're doing good today. Who else we got? We got Samo, we got Titan, Blood Oak. How are you doing? How are those burgies, Oak Oak? Need that. Hi, Mickey. Hi, White Dove. You're doing okay, Scaramouche? Yeah, I'm doing good today. I felt like I could have just stayed in bed all day. I would have been okay with that, honestly. <laughs> Just one of those days, right? Hi, Mish. Good to see you. Yeah, the feta, the feta complaint is fair. Oh, maybe we'll do a cheese pull for lunch too. We can choose some cheeses to throw into the dish. Yeah, Trev, you made it. What did you just finish cooking? I'm just gonna get this timer set up. Minimum three hour stream today. You guys know the dealio. If you don't, our marathon streams. So max 10 hours today. So we'll be going until like possibly 10 p.m. our time. When we get sick of cooking, we're gonna play some Disney Dreamlight Valley. But I think we'll be able to cook all the stuff today. Hi, Kanara. Happy weekend, how are you? We need more light in here, we do. We do. A feta pull, a feta pull. <laughs> Trev, you made birthday cake chocolate for one of the kiddos? Or what? And so yeah, we might make it to 10 hours. If not, and whenever the timer counts down, stream's done. We're like, could, we could be in the middle of cooking something. If the countdown finishes, goes down to zero, that's it. You guys know I would finish cooking the dish with you. But yeah, that's the fun part about these days. Am I going to someplace fun? I am. I am. I'm going to be going to work up in none of it with Sam is they needed more like skilled humans up there. And same with the future with some other sites that are gonna open up with the ice road. I'm so excited, Kanara. Are there different subclasses of feta? <laughs> Mish, paging Kiwi Mish for that answer. Yeah, just leave it. Okay, well that's the stream and see you later. <laughs> you guys know I would never do that. A ninth birthday? Oh, to be nine years old again, right? Like what? What? Good times. I'm excited. Yeah, Kanara, it's a wonderful opportunity. One thing that I've like learned going along in my life, I know I'm still young, is like if an opportunity presents itself like that, never just like turn it down. Never turn it down. Even if it's like doesn't really currently work with your lifestyle. But if an opportunity presents itself, definitely take advantage of it and like try it out. You can always try it and then change your mind after, right? I think a lot of people don't realize that in life is like, you're allowed to change your mind. It's okay. No matter if people make you feel bad. Are we taking the pup? So she's not my pup. She's actually my bro and his partner's pup. So that's why we call her cooker dog. So yeah, she'll be missing us, I'm sure. Okay, I think that's all we got. I will get this timer on. And away we go. Went to the dollar store this morning. I got a couple like little Halloween decorations. And then I was looking for candy corn. It doesn't exist anymore. Candy corn does not exist. Thanks, Kanara. I'm proud of me too. Like first ever cooking job where like you're actually getting what you deserve for like your wage. I kind of talked about this with my bro yesterday. It's like, trades are interesting. It's like, if you stay in one spot with your trade, like same location for like many years, you will really like get high up wherever that location is. But then like, you're stuck in that one spot. White dove, you sneaker. I'm just gonna finish this convo as those go on. But then like, if you wanna excel in your trade and like learn a lot from other locations, then you're always gonna have to start at the bottom again, always. So that's kind of the sucky thing, but I'd rather have like a lot of knowledge than I guess a higher wage, but we're getting there. We're getting there. 
getting closer. White Dove, thank you so much. Ten subbies. Means we do Bean Boozled and Balloon. Bean Boozled. Let's have the coffee first. <laughs> And then I gotta add all those on for you. Start. Reset. Oh, that's easy, Math. You got this, Kate. Start it. Is it there? And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's two minutes per sub. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are mathing this morning. Chicken wings, chicken wings, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni. Chilling with my homies. That's the song, Trev. I gotta do the math, you know what that means. Okay, White Dove, thank you for kicking off the stream today. Also, hi, Vune. You can't say I can't go, because that just makes it harder. Okay, let's welcome in from White Dove. You've now gifted 67 total, by the way. Who else is going in here? Scaramouche, you little sneaker. Scaramouche gifting the sub to the Feta Mafia. Is this how today is gonna go? Is this how it's gonna go? <laughs> okay, we got Rotor and Wing Dreams from White Dove. Noob Frost Mage, I like it. Dark Hester, Balloon Sidan. We got Hext Hector HSC, Gabe Michaela, Balder Moon 027, Su Long, Alamo Ghost, and Nescalo. Thank you for that, friends. What is that about? Guys can't just like drop that right at the beginning? What is happening? Kimmer's with the fifth, with sorry, with the 5,000 bits? Kimmer's is like, I need something in my life, Kate. <laughs> you need like maple and more Canadian snacks? Or, I mean, I was gonna do this for next month. Just because, like, if we give it away in November, then it can arrive for you guys in December. But I need to go get some more of these this week before they're all sold out, and then we'll send some to you guys. Because I just love it. Speed! Chat is smoking right now, Vune. <laughs> Are you serious? The feta cheese just subscribed. Thanks, Scaramouche, for gifting this up to them. More cheese. Speed, thank you for the 10, 20, plus 18. Thank you for the 48 bitly speed. Chicken bologna? Does that exist? It does, doesn't it? Bologna made of chicken? Maybe. Oh, it's okay, Vune. <laughs> you don't have to take back what you said. You know I'm just bugging. Yeah, my something arrived today, actually. Yay! Something cozy arrived. Like, early this morning. One of the things... Ready, chat? Get ready Yay! for adventure, they say to us today. I think it's the coat. Do we need to see it before we start? You just can't distract me too much, because then I'll... Might forget all the things that we gotta do together. Speed, thank you for the 100 bitlies, as well as Trev and Scaramouche for the 61. How's everyone's day going so far? <laughs> yeah, you wanna see it? Okay. And then we'll catch up. We got some balloonies to blow up. I got, I had to go to the dollar store because, like, we're out of balloons almost. <gasps> it's the jacket. It's the jacket. Bonk, thank you for the 500 as well. Oh, your favorite and most beautiful Canadians? What? You just boosted us to 2,900 recommendations, by the way. Boom. It's a jacket. <laughs> I 
Heck yeah! <laughs> Speedy, thank you for the hundred as well. I'm not a food snob, but bologna has to be the remnants. Like, you gotta know that by now, right? Okay, we got that baby packed up. I chose gray color. Yeah. White dove. <laughs> Everyone's like just killing us today. I love it. Thank you so much guys. I can't keep up already White dove with a $50 dono. Okay, I'm on it. I need to put this on now too. I was saving it But now you guys destroyed me so you get this <laughs> Okay So we're literally not allowed to go to work if we don't have this. So we needed to get this. Nice. Extreme. Oh. Oh, okay, I gotta back up. Otherwise you can't see it. Holy. I've not really ever had a winter jacket as cozy as this. That fits nice. That fits nice. It was on sale. You have to ask Samo what, what he paid for it. But yeah, we both got the same brand of jacket and then I got some snow pants coming too. <laughs> this is nice, guys. So dang nice. It really suits me, thanks. I'm gonna be a northern, northern Canadian human. The pockets are nice and big, like it's actual pockets, not just for show. So much like female stuff, just for show. 5,000 millimeters of rain this, this will be. Mm, I don't think I need it bigger. I can still fit like my Milwaukee heated hoodie under. To Reno, so I think it'll be good. Yeah, any hidden pockets? Look at this one. Look at that hidden pocket. That's cozy. I'll definitely be warm. I just want to wear that the rest of stream now almost. I really like the gray though. I'm glad I chose that. Sam's got a green one. The things are slowly coming in. Okay, let's clean up. We'll do some fun things since everyone decided to crush us with love first thing. Hi, yet it is. Welcome in. Nice. But Torino is right though. The more you can like layer in the winter, the better for chore. Hi, Lily as well. Hi, Clem. Good to see you if I missed anyone. Hi, hi, hi. And yeah, like four weeks is gonna be so dang long, but it's okay, I think it'll go by fast. And that's why we have Discord and all of that other stuff already built up, because that's where we're gonna share a lot of stuff. And like we talked about the other day, we might be able to actually stream in Discord a couple times. Hi, Mary, you love the spiders? We got some, they're like skulls back there and I got a sneaky, spiky spooter here. And then these are cute little bat buddies. <laughs> I had fun in the dollar store today. Yeah, full jackets don't look good with shorts. You just need longer shorts. Hi, Wavec. You need to get these, I know. I was like, they're actually the cutest. Thanks, Speed. That's so nice of you. I will accept that. Okay, level four boost train to kick off the day. You guys increase the timer already by two hours. So now we're counting down from five hours. We're literally halfway done. We're literally halfway done the 10 hours. <laughs> and yeah, choo choo. Or is it not a train since it's a rocket? Blast off. 
make rocket sounds. <laughs> okay. What kind of fun are we getting into here today? Oh, and our, uh, our failed raid yesterday. Loaded Wombat messaged me on Twitter and was like, I'm so sorry I wasn't live. I like just ended as you guys came over. I was like, it's okay, dude. I hope we can catch you next time. What an awesome human though. It is like rare to get a message from another streamer like that. So it made me super happy. Okay, we're getting White Dove's name on some balloons. We got terrible times of being boozled ahead of us. <laughs> I uh, tried to look for candy corn this morning, but that doesn't exist anymore, I guess. It doesn't exist. It's Cooker Dog. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> Get it down to 30 minutes and then just crush me again. It's true, Blood Oak. Yeah, Bonk is our rocket man. In-house rocket here. Right there. Okay. We're finishing up these ones or... Nah, maybe I'll open another thing. Cause there's like quite a few similar flavors in here. Let's open the new pack and mix it up. Also, while I was in the States, I looked at the Bean Boozled in the like a special candy store in San Diego. They have not come out with another edition. I was like, I already have all those. But I did check, just so you're all aware. Thank you, Speed, for the lurk. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, dude, if I don't see you again. Thank you for all of the donos of the biddies and such. Okay, I'm gonna mix it, but not look. Oh. Oh, I threw out the package so we don't know. Should we just go roulette, not even know what it is? Not even have anything for expectation. Let's do it. It's an okay one. And thank you, friends. First off, White Dove says, Kate, I just want to thank you for all the streams I've enjoyed with you. Appreciate you. Thank you for all the things you've taught me over the years. You're so welcome, friend. Yeah, the years just keep flying by and we just keep learning like the most amount of things pertaining to food and other things in the world. I've been kind of reminiscing on it too. So thanks for all the like really nice messages. I appreciate that. Weasel says, what's up? And we have a Twitch food baby, a nine month resub. Dude, what are we naming the food baby today? Okay, so this... Maybe like a tutti fruity flavor or fruit punch. It was like very just like red fruit flavor jelly bean. It could have been bad though. Pomegranate it was. It could have been old bandage though. No, 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 no. There was Harry Potter and a Flaming Hot version. Yeah, that's why I went to like that specialty candy store in San Diego, but they didn't really have anything like specialty. They had stuff in there that I've like seen around for years. I was like, dang, was really like holding out for some new things for us. Can I make liver delicious? Not me. Don't ask me to, Wavec. I mean, the only thing I would say is lots of butter. That is kind of what I know. Weasel, we're naming our food baby Missy, short from, it was a mistake. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Should get someone to stream while I'm away, like a guest talk show host? Imagine, just like all the Kate updates. That would actually be hilarious. Okay, so you, you bred your liver? I have heard about like the the dredging and flour and stuff for liver. But yeah, the only thing I can really make liver wise is like a mousse, but even then I don't really taste it. I get someone else to taste it. Liver is my least favorite food ever. 
Okay, next one. Balloonies. We got some options here. White Dove. White Dove did not kill me with the bean boozled. Not yet, at least. Do we want a colored balloon of any sort? Or would we like a cute ghosty, or sorry, jack-o'-lantern balloon? Yeah, liver is good for us. I do know that. But dang, my palate's changed. My mom tells me that I used to like love it when I was a baby. Just eat it up. But once again, that was like pureed form pretty much. A color one? Well, since your name is purple, I think we might as well do that one to start. Chicken liver better taste than beef liver? In my mind, yes. That's what I have mostly worked with in my life. Beef liver, I know, is like typically pan fried and stuff. And then chicken liver is used a lot for like mousse. Really big. I could see that though. That makes sense, right? Is like liver is like an off cut that is not as expensive currently if you do need like some beef or like some iron sort of protein in your life. Was TwitchCon in LA? It was not. It was in San Diego. So like basically in Mexico. That's why I died when I was there. We got, so it's gonna be hung upside down, so I gotta remember that. White Dove. Bam. Me too, yeah. I'd rather take an iron supplement than eat the liver. Or I have seen lately, people are coming out with like, actual, dried liver supplements from like animals i would try that but like i've also seen trending now oh i didn't want to stay people are drinking like liver smoothies it's like no it's gonna ruin smoothie for me the first balloony and yeah i'm wearing overalls today they're kind of sideways because of my mic pack but i think that's all all part of the vibe Okay, we got Scaramouche for the next balloon. I'm thinking green for their username. Oh gosh, who makes a balloon this color? That looks weird. <laughs> Your aunt is in LA right now and she's not happy because of the heat? I think they mixed that up in the wrong package, Heat Ender. Not a balloon. Puke yellow is allowed? That's like straight up like latex-ish. Not even like pumpkin color. It was like legitimate like latex. <laughs> if you know, you know. Scaramouche. Rastra? What's the matter? Come here. Come back. She's being a bit of a baby chat. But I think the parents, the parents are uh, doing some stuff today. Cooker dog. Come here. It's good. Stay here. Yes. Good girl. Don't worry. Is anyone else like ever around like anxious dogs. Gotta, gotta reinforce her feelings here. Don't worry. Okay, boom, Kimmers. We're gonna do a balloon for Kimmers as well. Cause that was a lot of bits. Kimmers has orange, which is perfect. 
Mmm. I don't even know if you've ever done an orange balloon. The yeah, the plastic flesh balloon. Straight up. Like you can see through it. <laughs> oh, hey, we'll do a ghost. We might even do two for you, Kimmers. Okay, I'll do the little jackal. And then we'll write your name on the other one. Where is there a hole? In the top? Must be. That's cute though. How are you gonna get it to stay upright? Yeah, Dusty, right? When the doggos are like being so anxious and silly. Gotta let them know it's okay. It's okay, Papa. What if we do these buddies on the side? Yes. <laughs> like, hey, what is that? Don't ask. Hee <laughs> hee. Hi, Cookie. How's your Saturday? We are having a fantastic day so far. And then Dusty, thank you. Gifting the sub to iShot Bow. Yeah, balloon plus one. And we got a new little like gift subby badge dust. Hi Darth. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Is the balloon squeak triggering? Or satisfying? It was kind of satisfying. And then Cookie just crushing us, coming in, gifting the sub to Darth for Baka. Thank you, guys. We're gonna be full up in here. No time. Ooh, I like it. How do you get a balloon? Well, you already subscribed, so we're getting there. You already did the thing. Okay, we made it. Weasel, what color you want? You're the next one. You are the next balloony dust. You want a little jack-o'-lantern? Got some interesting colors. We got a really nice yellow or like a silver, blue. What else is in this other pack? Kind of the same thing. Red? We want red for weasel again? It's like literally how your name looks in chat. Hi, lily pad. <laughs> Kate, I need one food, please, and hello and such other greetings. <laughs> My favorite. That one's huge. Massive. Yeah, balloon squeak. What's worse, guys? Balloon squeak or chalkboard? Some people also get triggered by like ice scratching, ice scraping, like Sam does. <laughs> we got Weasel. Do the four. chalkboard fork in a stainless steel sink luckily i'm not i'm not affected by like the metal sort of sounds imagine that if you're like a chef you get triggered by that that would not be good okay we're going we're going above oh we're not going above it says no no we're going on the side yeah come over cooker dog we're chilling. We'll do another Jacko for dust. 
<laughs> yeah, you calling me fat, Kate? Your head goes to other places in the universe when you blow up a balloon. It's really good for your cardio. The jack-o'-lantern ones smell like a sharpie as you're blowing it up. So if I die, you know why. <laughs> if I pass out later today, we can blame the balloons. <laughs> That can't be good. Do we put this one above to fill it out? Yes, we do. So many balloonies already. The happy up there together. Okay, I think we're caught up. Cookie. Yellow. And then we're caught up. And then we're gonna talk about the menu for today. We're starting with breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> Don't let it go off in your face. What's up, Rashtra? Do you need a balloon? What do you think? Are you stressed? What's you stressed? T R M C I thought these little bat things would be really annoying, but it's actually so comfortable. These are just going to stay there forever. Okay, we still got lots of real estate for the balloons, let's be honest. Sweet! We made a mess. We made a bit of a mess. Yeah, Jude Doggo. She doesn't really know what to do with balloons. It's funny. She like kind of wants to get them, but then it's blown up in her face before. So she's like, I know what happens. We know. What, really? You might be like getting your sister's doggo? Cause you've just been taking care of it so much. That's so cute. Finish this before it gets cold. Okay, so in the oven, I made like a little Yay! proofing chamber this morning cause it was cold. It was really cold and it still is like not that warm. It's only four degrees. Look, I got like chicken skin, they call it. Holy cookie. Thank you for the 3,109 bits. You got a maple goodie box. <laughs> the wife's like, we need some more cookies, sir. <laughs> Rastra, come here. Especially if like it's only me here and not Sam and like they both leave, then she gets really anxious. Come here, girl. Okay, we just gotta give her a bit of love. No, come here. Good girl. Yeah, we're cooking it in. Stay here. And stay with Auntie. We're chilling. You chill, dog. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Staying here. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Oh, he's getting aggressive. Dang. Yeah, one of my friends here actually, one of her dogs that she had two dogs before she had her baby. And the one dog was just like not having it. Almost adopted her, but it, the dog wasn't good on like road trips. So that wouldn't work for us with the truck and stuff coming up. Yeah, it's chilly. I mean, it's not that chilly right now, Mary, here. But it is already like that where Sam is. I think he's got like minus 10-ish. 
But still, only four degrees Celsius? That's cold. Okay, let's check out this. And then I have most of the breakfast sandwich ingredients in here already. So yeah, this is getting warmed. But it didn't really look like it proofed much in the fridge, right? Doesn't look like much happened, but I want to feel it to see how warm this is. Okay, so we're getting warm. I think we'll kind of redo the proofing chamber and then set maybe like half an hour time or more for it to proof to check it because it should still double in size like same way that you let things proof for one hour to double that should happen too before we like divide it up and then bake it and that's just like cold weather stuff i feel i'll do a little bit more heat up on that yeah, it's chilly. Like, there's no heat on in the house here yet either. We always try and wait, like, as long as possible. Just because utilities cost so much in this city. Hi, FCB! How are you? Astra, you better now? What about... What am I doing to help it proof? So I'm making like a sneaky proofing chamber is what I call it, White Dove. Is you just warm up your oven a little bit, like not hot, hot, right? Cause then you'll kind of cook the dough and the yeast will die, but warm enough that like, it would be like a warm summer day. And so getting it warmer will help the dough be more like pliable for sure. Cause you can't really form it when it's cold. And yeah, the heat will wake the yeast up a bit more. Hi, Scooter. How are you doing? Furnace caught fire? That's what happened, Weasel? That's how you found out that you needed a new one? That's scary. This is gonna beep like crazy. Melted through the back? Everyone go check your furnace. Okay, so 30 minutes on there. And then here's the recipe. If you wanna make that brioche. Oh, FCB literally just clicked it. Did we click it at the same time? <laughs> so I'd only link the brioche buns and our cinnamon muffins today. The rest of the stream is up to us, really. Yeah, we're backing it up. Beep! Beep! <laughs> okay, and then let's talk about our breakfast sandal. So I'll pop the menu up so you can see, again, kind of what we're making. So the homemade brioche bun. So once that is proofed up enough, then we divide the buns into six. We're only making six today. And then it's going to have to proof a little bit more. They'll rise again about like 30 minutes before we bake it. And then it bakes for probably like 25 minutes ish. So we still have a couple hours almost, like maybe an hour and a half more, like until we have the bun. So in that time, sometimes this thing does crazy stuff. Okay, there we go. So in that time, we just get together all of the other breakfast sandwich components. So we have sausage. You guys remember when we made the sausage for the scotch eggs and we had this little bit left over? So I just vacuum sealed and froze it. So we'll make our own sausage patties from that today. Fried egg is gonna go on there. We're gonna make tomato jam. So like tomato jam will be kind of the first things we get going here today. Think of it like a kind of like chunky spiced tomato condiment is really good on breakfast sandwiches. Write that down. The Sammy sounds great. This is like one of my favorite breakfast sandwiches ever with all the ingredients that we're putting on it today. <laughs> Trev, I love getting people like that. Yeah, those beeps. I wish there was only like maybe three, but I'm pretty sure there's like eight. We don't need eight beeps knowing that the oven is being turned off. Ah, I knew that it was going to go again. <laughs> Just going to unplug it. I know it's a safety thing, but still, but still. 
Okay, that. I don't think I'm going to make the jalapeno mayo because Finn is here with us today. So we'll just maybe do, if we want, like a garlicky mayo. But nothing spicy for Finn. And that's okay. That'll still be yummies. Hi, Wonder Girl. Welcome, welcome in. How's your day going? Carrying on. I'll write down sausage patty. That'll be an easy one, though. Fry egg. We will slice some Gruyere cheese to go on. Slice the Gruyere. We have just some fresh greens, like a head of lettuce. We'll just wash up some greens to put on the sandwich. Yay! FCB! Woolly! Holy friend, six, 6,000 bits? FCB is like, hi, I'm gonna get a medium Canadian snack box in my life. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, for that, we'll for sure do Bean Boozled and Balloon as well. Wonder Girl, it's a beautiful day in Texas. Nice. I would like some of that warmer weather too. I'm doing good doing good today is like a bittersweet stream honestly kind of like last cooking stream before we go can't have kimmers in first <laughs> oh man fcb you're hilarious <laughs> okay anything else for our sando tomato jam garlic mayo sausage patty fried egg sliced green lettuce greens i think that's it okay Okay, here we go. Getting my stuff caught on the side there. Bean boozled for FCB. I chose one. Oh no. That can't be good. Just the way that it looks. It's like beige and speckled yellow. Okay, I'm not gonna look at the guide. We're just gonna go for it. The last one was okay. We got lucky. What even is this? It's not good. I think it's dead fish. Stinky socks. It's nothing good. It keeps getting like more funky and sour. <laughs> Make it stop. But that's the thing with jelly beans. It's like once it sticks in your teeth, you're just tasting it forever. I'm I'm pretty sure that was dead fish. Okay, they're saying It's hard to tell with the colors, but I think that one was dead fish rather than rotten egg. Cuz I've had the rotten egg one before. And it definitely wasn't barf. <laughs> nice, yeah. A little umami for brunch there. Hello, Lucia. How are you? We did not get lucky, FCB. But alas, that's, that's what happens sometimes. That's all in good fun, isn't it? Yeah, once you eat it, it's like you have the sweetness from the sugar in your mouth. But then there's this underlying funk. <laughs> An underlying funk. Yeah, fishy. Hi, mom. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Nothing like starting the morning off with that. You should have eaten that one. Cooker dog, you would have loved it. Dead fish. Come here. You still being funny? We're chilling today. Wash it down, yeah. Thanks, Heat Ender. It's actually a hand me down from my parents. They, I think we looked these up before, right? They exist in the world. Care. K E R R brand. Mason jar. Okay, next one. FCB. Let's do blue. 
because your name's blue and I really like that color. It'll look good up there. I will have another sip for you, Vicky. Thank you. A beautiful fall day there today, mom. What's the temp? We have like, we are in winter pretty much now. It's only getting up to six degrees today. You got a nice one too, Cookie? I'm kind of jealous. Twenty. <laughs> the balloon toot. I was waiting for that. 20 degrees Celsius? Those days are over. Yeah, the winter tires are going on on Wednesday. <laughs> <Boot>. <laughs> Who needs sound effects when you just need a balloon? Yay! What is this now? That's way more than you could ever need. FCB? Is my mom from Maryland? She is not. They live on Vancouver Island. Okay, well now you get another balloon, FCB. You like the round numbers? Oh yeah, I guess. Now we're at 40% of the way through the goal for the flat top. Let's go. Oh, you did get some rain. Yeah, we got rain last night too, I guess. Only 10 C today, so not that hot. <laughs> There's a goose lake in the States. Dang, I don't know if we'll be able to see the one from Canada. Going over. You gotta do two for FCB now. Cause that was a massive dono. Does that also mean we need another bean boozled? Maui Mary? Now you're just making us all wanna go there. Goose Lake CA, let's see. How did they not find Maui? That's weird. Seven. Wowie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of day is this? Hyped up on sugar and I got really bad breath. Gross. Yuck. Oh, I'm all out of the things here. I took them all. Good job, chat. Okay, I like our little ghosty bros over here. I don't know why, but they make me really happy. You're there in your mind already? <laughs> yeah, just pop them all tomorrow, take a quick vid. Okay, let's see. For FCB's dono, let's see if we can get lucky. And then we'll start some cooking. Ah, it's still bringing up Goose Lake America. Dang. And hi, Dana. Okay, don't look. Oh. <laughs> if you've had it before, you like know what's coming. I know this one. I think it's the buttered popcorn or egg one. Let's see. We lucked out. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I don't know if I could have done a rotten egg before we have our breakfast sandwich. Hmm. Fort Myers not found either. How does that work? Do you have to say fort? Do you actually have to spell it? Maybe. Okay. Did my mouse die? I have no mouse actions currently. It might have died. 
Thank you, Vicky. Gifting us up to Dana's kitchen. That is another balloon. Yes, yeah, that buttered popcorn, that was actually so good. Definitely cleared out the rotten fish, but a little bit more salt would be good. Okay, I'm gonna do pink, because we have like no pink balloons yet. Thank you, Vicky. And yeah, welcome in, Dana. Hope you have been well. This one's really small. Can I even do this? She can. And in my next career, I will be a balloon animal artist. Little do you know, this is practice for that. <laughs> you live in a place called Sugarland? Sounds magical. You can't go outside because then you're gonna get cold. So you gotta stay here. Oh, cooker dog. She's like, I'ma go out and check. And you're gonna get cold. Listening to Auntie. Bam. Okay, tomato jam time. Tomato jam. This is what we need. And we're gonna pick through our garlic today and I'm sure the rest of it will just be going into the garbage. We need garlic. We need onion. Some cherry tomato. And I brought over fresh thyme. And then we're gonna need some spices as well. Cumin and coriander. Do we have to do more coriander again? I think so. Gotta blitz up some coriander? Maybe. I think we'll just do cumin then. We need that. And then we need like some sugar as well as vinegar. So brown sugar. I'll use up this one again. And then I always like to do apple cider vinegar. Tomato jam. You occasionally watch a streamer who does balloon animals and stuff? Is it funny? Do they make some crazy stuff, FCB? Okay, so basically everything's gonna go into this one pot, I do like to usually saute the onion and garlic first and then add everything else together. So I'll kind of start by prepping that. The cherry tomatoes, we're just gonna cut in half. And then the onion will be like medium dice. I do like it more chunky. Like in place of ketchup, we will make this spice sort of tomato stuff. Oh, nice. Are you going to try and like overwinter it, Mary? That one's good. I think you can grow some of those herbs like inside. And yeah, I like the chunky tomato jam like more than if we puree it nice and smooth, like how ketchup is. I like the chunks better. That. No skimping. And then this usually has to simmer like 30-ish minutes, let's say. 
from a couple of those off. Mmm, that's a good one too, Squigs. Gochujang and vinegar. Favorite ketchup replacement. If you like spicy too, right? That's the other part of that. And yes, yeah, banana ketchup is actually so delicious. Like most people don't even know what it is, but at the time that I had it, it was it was good. Better than I thought. Yeah, you saw the banana ketchup on Master Chef Mary? Try it out if you guys can find it where you live. It's like something different, right? And I always like when things are like pleasantly surprising how good they are. Yeah, the gochujang I get is like you can't use in place of ketchup either. But maybe it's a different brand. Okay, so we'll do like more medium dice on the onion. <laughs> the onion's getting dry. It's like this little outer skin. It's getting papery. down a bit more to match the other size. Good to go. Yeah, we'll sweat down that onion a bit. Same with the garlic. The garlic, I always do slices as well. Nice big garlic chunks. <laughs> Probably squigs, yeah. Like the way that our heat or like spicy tolerance just slowly builds up over time. We don't even realize it, I think. There is three official heat levels for gochujang. I wasn't aware of that. See, now we learned something new. There's actually some places in our province today that got snow overnight. It's like, ah, winter is definitely coming. I think we just need a small pot or like medium pot, let's say. You can put that right in there and then we'll just add some olive oil to sweat it out this cut? Yes. We'll dice up these next. Wally World has the banana ketchup. You should buy it. Like I said, it was really good. I think I'll just use up all of these. Because where else will they be used up after I leave? Perfect. Grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. And then we'll just pop them in a small bowl. Mmm. Gochujang and hot chocolate, Mary? I'm intrigued. Like, what do they do in Mexico? They obviously put like chilies in it, right? To make spicy hot chocolate. I'm just not really aware of what chili they use. Doenjang, is that the fermented bean and chili paste. I think I've used that before. 
Is that the correct one, Trev? Cayenne? Oh yeah, I guess that would make sense. It's like the cheapest, easiest pepper to grow. And yeah, with the warming spices, it's so good and it's like thick. That's even like the, when you have churros with the hot chocolate is like such a thick chocolate sauce. It's lovely. this pot on here so we can start warming up this place i might have to put a long sleeve on we'll see good thing we got cooker dog for extra heat good girly fermented soybean mash it's like a soup base i think i've used that before it comes in the same little tub as gochujang. Yeah, right, Dust? It's like I'm starting to compile the list for myself for like, I literally only have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to get ready. And then Thursday morning, I have to be at the airport for like 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm making my list of all the things that I gotta like pack up. Basically, batten down the hatches. We will use this today. But I did really good like before I went to San Diego, clearing out that sort of stuff. So I don't have too much, too much more. Come on in. Let's do medium high heat to start. And then like I said, I'll pop some olive oil. Cause that's what I like with my veggies. The doenjang is always in brown and then the gochujang's in the red. Maybe it wasn't that one then. Cause I think it was in like a green container. That might be enough olive oil, let's see. So then while we're waiting, we can pick some of the fresh thyme and then just put it in the bowl with the tomatoes. And yeah, I'll be drying this thyme. I'm gonna be drying some apples this week. So those don't go bad in the fridge. I will zest and juice all of the leftover citrus and then freeze it and then i think that's pretty much it oh and like freeze the cheeses too let's say we'll open it up a bit more while we're doing both things just keep picking. I haven't had this breakfast sandwich in a good while. We used to make something really similar for our brunch menu when Sam and I worked at the brew pub in Vancouver. And people would like love it. Just go nuts for it. Like the brioche bun really makes a big difference for a breakfast sandwich like the buttery nuttiness of it. <laughs> Trev, you cut the pepper flakes in half and it still took you out. I remember when I was making, I think it was like daikon kimchi when we were still in the basement suite under my parents. And I get home from work one day, my mom's like, what do you have rotting downstairs? I'm like, I'm making kimchi. It's in the farting stage, it's fine. <laughs> it's just veggie farts, it's totally okay. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Mm 
It's actually crazy though how bad it smells. When things are fermenting, but how does it taste so good after though? Yeah, it's gone off. That can't be good. Joke's on you. It is perfect. Yeah, it's seriously so stinky. I would not know, Lil. Yeah, I've never cooked tripe. I don't know if I ever will. I might have it, like, cooked for me from someone. Usually, if, if I don't think I'm gonna like something, I'll have someone else cook it for me that knows what they're doing first. That way it's done properly. I don't mess it up for myself. Okay, I'm gonna put the time back in the fridge while this is heating up. It's taking its time. Like I said, though, it's chilly in here today. <laughs> My mom... True story, it stunk bad. That's what my thought was, right? Is it's definitely similar to making sauerkraut. It smells like wet and dirty socks, tripe. Delicious. That smells and sounds delicious. At... No, stay here, cooker dog. Stay, stay, stay. Okay, I'm just gonna take... Oh, we are coming up here. I was gonna say, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, but first I'll stir this. Since we got some sizzling action, finally. That'll take probably close to like 10 minutes to sweat out a bit. You can get a little bit golden brown color on there too. That's allowed. And okay, our timer's going off for the bread dough, but I think I'll leave it in there for a bit longer still. Doesn't seem like that was enough. Okay, I'll be right back. Chat steamed out. <laughs> Give me one sec. Let's get the fan. Your biggest fan. Nobody said nothing. Guys? We're your biggest fan. Can you tell it's winter in here? <laughs> it's still not even clear in it. I gotta aim it a bit different. 
we're in the sauna. Literally need to, it right there. Hold the fan, stir the veggies. That means it'd be like impossible to stream inside in the winter almost. Even that out. Okay, where can I pop this? Oh, yay. We're getting there. It is yummy. It's gonna be delish. Uh, Mary says, when using wooden spoons after washing, do you seal it with booze block or something else? That would be a smart thing to do. For sure, Mary. But I've never done it. But I say it's smart because, like, over the years, you'll notice the wooden spoons, like, crack and dry out. So if you seal it or just rub it with, like, some mineral oil after, it'll probably prolong the life of the spoon. These are getting there. Looking so good. Okay, tomato jam. We're going. Okay, what Trev said. Just let them air dry and then just mineral oil when necessary. That makes sense. What? Waitlist for the local dairy farm. Got some of the chorizo delivered. Put all four links in the marinara. Was it so spicy? It's a spicy chorizo. Also get a bit of salt and pepper. Come on in. Yep. Come here, girl. Good papa. Yeah, good papa. Keep going. Noticing some golden brown action here. That's what we want. Color and fat equals flavor. spoon holder. Let's use it. Let's use it. My saucy spoon holder. Yeah, why is everyone's chorizo like a different heat level? That's so true. I guess because like, I don't know, probably pertains to their family recipe or something like that, right? Or however they like to eat it, I guess. Makes you wonder. Give it another stir. Almost time to put some of the cumin in there. Fry the spice up a bit. What's the oil? The oil is olive oil. And we just got onion and garlic slices. Sizzling on up in there. crazy that it's like 115 already we're just cooking our first thing that was a busy first hour <laughs> your daughter ate half bowl of pasta just left the table she tapped out it was like so spicy so at least they can handle some of the spice though but yeah sometimes something is just so spicy your body's like i literally can't can't do this. A 
it's almost there. Just heard crazy noise outside. Hello? Hello? What? Guys, I'm getting text message reminders from the insurance company we used when we had the Subaru. Just a reminder, your insurance is going to expire next month for the 2018 Subaru. It's like, you do realize that that's not my vehicle anymore. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Does that mean the person like never switched over their insurance? What does this even mean? Okay, we're gonna add like a teaspoon of cumin or so. You can only eat like half a Thai chili. Like straight up, some places you go in Thailand, when you're waiting for your food, they'll just pop a bowl of green chilies fresh in front of you. Like that's your free appetizer. <laughs> Another cue, when kimchi has an expiration date, isn't it still good? Yeah, I always say like use your senses. Use your senses and then determine it from there, Mary. That, we'll put a little bit of salt and pepper in now because the tomatoes are going in next and then we'll add our couple of liquids. Nom, nom, nom. Like it really doesn't take long once the garlic starts to brown. So then we add this, tomatoes and fresh thyme. And yes, it's gonna pop a bit. Mix that up now. Now it really starts to smell good. Tomato jam. Now we will add a bit of vinegar too, like half a cup maybe. Apple cider vinegar and as well as a little bit of brown sugar. Oh, kimchi fried rice is really good. Let's do like quarter cup of brown sugar to start. I can always put more in later. And then we'll just let this kind of simmer for half an hour or so. Pinch of salt as well. Give it a stir. Hmm. Smells right. Push it down into one layer, but as this comes up to a simmer, the tomatoes will yield more and more juices for this, for the jam. And then I'll just put this over to the side so we can keep working on some other things. While it's cooking along. I can also put some of these other ingredients away now that we're done with. We make a tomato jam. Gers, good to see you. Lawyers make the decisions on the expiration dates, not the scientists. That I could see. There's a lot of stuff like that that happens behind the scenes that we are not aware of. And 
man, it smells good in here now. That's looking really great, too. And we can check out our buns. My nose is running today like crazy. Yes, yeah, so it is good as like a sandwich spread, right? That's basically what it is going to be. Is spread on our breakfast sandwich. And yeah, it's just really good with like eggs. I find this tomato jam just so delicious with eggs. Kind of similar, I guess, to what like a red pepper sandwich spread would be, right? Hypnotic tomato content. I know I don't even want to like take it away from the board. It looks so good it Looks so dang good This way And yeah, just a really good way to like use up extra tomatoes is what I usually do It's good on burgers and hot dogs. Yes, Mary <laughs> No one makes the rules, girls. But yeah, sometimes we do have to be a bit more responsible. What do you mean we can't play video games all day? Why not? Yeah, roasted red peppers, whether it's like the peppers or just the sandwich spread. So good. So, so good. Okay, so first things first, let's check on the dough. Okay, let's feel it. Let's feel the warmth of it. It's definitely growing and getting happier. So we might be able to divide it into the six buns now. Get closer to baking it. Oh yes, we, we are there. We are there. Okay, so we will need a little bit of flour First, let's grab our sheet pan. Chicken wing, chicken wing, oh, literally, the timer just went off. And thank you, Vicky, gifting the sub to Gers as well. Welcome, welcome in, Gers. And then we're gonna just line our sheet pan with a silicone baking mat so that we can save parchment paper might have a sneaky sneeze. If I mute really quick, that's why. Oh, excuse me. High powdered toast, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not video games. I think they play video games while they watch me though, is what they're saying. And yeah, this will be, so it's not our last stream, but cooking, yes. Still gonna stream together tomorrow as well. And I have not really decided what we're gonna do tomorrow, but we do have to go charge the car first. So that's like at the mall. But I think after that, we might like come back and go for a walk to an ice cream shop. But who eats ice cream when it's like freezing out? <laughs> So that's not the best option. A little bit of flour, and then we'll need like a bench scraper to divide the six buns. Or if you guys want to look up some different spots in Edmonton that we can go tomorrow. Let's go for a walk. I was thinking that. And like walk all the way along the river valley. But like there is a little bit of restaurants I can walk to in a neighborhood called the Highlands. I'm like, yeah, could be fun. I always maybe go for like a burger. I'm not going for ice cream, <laughs> Sam. 
WTF. I was thinking that it could be fun, though. Not to marble slab, just to kind. Just to check it out. Samuel just goes to the freezer. I'm gonna get a magnum bar then. Okay, so just enough flour so that this dough does not stick to the board, but we don't need too much. Yeah, marble slab. I actually have like a free ice cream from marble slab on like one of the little cards that they do stamp card like this is a far walk i don't know how long it would take us to walk there maybe i'll look it up on my phone on the map but we could also like walk to uh, the italian center shop the one closer to us here and get some little goodies from there. Yeah, you love just seeing the sights, even if it's not in person. Well, we got all streamed to figure it out. All clean. Pop that over to the side now. This is how our tomatoes are looking, by the way. They're getting all juicy in there. Turn it down a little bit more. Let me give it a stir of sorts. You don't want to cook it too fast and then the tomatoes don't like soften and fall apart enough. There we go. So this is going to get divided into six. And yes, it is a sticky, buttery dough. Let's just try and form it to an even shape here first. Perfect. The Italian store was fun. So yeah, I can take you to another location of it, like the original one that they opened in the city. It's like pretty close to us. I wonder how far of a walk that would be. Or we can just like pop there on the way home, even, and then still go for our walk once we're back. Maybe that'll be the best. Never go to Marble Slab if you're allergic to nuts. Oh, I could see that. Low Jack. Good point. Yeah, like how do you sanitize that slab, right? Okay, so we're dividing each of these portions into three of so six brioche buns total a little bit less on each of that perfect should take this from this one put it over there i think we good yes and now we're gonna make our buns. Move those over. Add a little itch. Yeah, I didn't use too much flour, so then we'll flip it over. And form it into a ball by basically folding the dough back into itself. And this will also like form a bit more gluten structure too. And then I'm also trying to squeeze out some of the air. <laughs> Misha's slap with Sam with the anchovy. He wouldn't even feel it. I might use a little bit of flour. It's not like sticky, but it's sticking onto my hand and like won't let go. Let's see what this does. better okay so we do this until it's really smooth and then we keep the seam on the bottom of the bun and then you place the seam onto the prepared baking pan so we can do six buns on the sheet pan and then just as we put the little buns or dough balls on there 
Let's just keep them covered with this towel. That way it won't dry out and you'll like keep more of the heat in there as well. Okay, again. The vinegar in the tomato jam is like clear in my sinuses. Some of those bubbles out. And we'll make our fake proof and chamber again in the oven. Really important. But the dough feels so nice today. So easy to work with. Look at how shiny and smooth it is. Do I ever add wheat gluten to the flour depending on the type of bread? I've never used wheat gluten. I don't even know if I know what it is. I've heard of it though before, Lojack. And thanks, Mish. I got some practice handling balls. What can I say? It makes it more airy. Interesting. I think that'd be like a special order ingredient. I don't think I've ever seen it in the like grocery stores here. Okay, so then we'll have to wait like another half an hour, maybe a little bit longer, depending on how quick these rise up. And then we can bake them. Bob's Red Mill makes it. Okay, so it probably is there then. Just I've never looked for it, right? Have you ever used it? It's like the best one. Whoa. Once you've used it? Yeah, you bake like once a year. That's okay. Okay, awesome. Tuck that back. We will need our egg white that we saved yesterday on stream to do the egg wash for those before they go in the oven to bake. That's what makes the brioche buns really shiny on top. I don't know if we'll need to wipe up a floury mess, so I'll get the cloth. Doot, doot, doot. And we'll plug in that oven again. <laughs> Just unplugged it because I got so mad. And it's gonna beep, so even when you plug it back in, it beeps again. R.I.P. Anonymous gifter, Anon. How, I guess I'll just write anonymous on the balloon. Thanks for gifting this sub to Girly Doe, who's actually been with us for six months in a row. Boom, there you go. Okay, anonymous can be gray, because they're anonymous. And we'll get to see what our sub points are at because we might have crossed off some of the goals already on stream. I think we did actually, especially the bits ones. Let's see. Yaggers. Yeah, 
Vicky gifting the subbies. Yeah, spam those emotes around the world. Anonymous. That is like one of my favorite emotes as well. It really is. It's so simple, but just perfect for what it does. It will pop you up there, Anonymous. Can I reach? Reach, Kate. Boom. Phew. <laughs> Misha's like, this is mine. <laughs> okay, turn this off. We're only making a fake proofing chamber, not a real one. We're not baking just yet. Okay, so those have got a double in size still, so just kind of take a mental picture of how that looks. Might move. Can I even move it over now? No. Might have had to move that one over, but it's not gonna happen. warm in there. Okay, I'll do 30 minute timer on that. Annie! Look at my cute little bat things. I think I gotta fix them because my hair is being weird now too. Your battery ran out? Mowing your lawn and mulching all the leaves? There's a lot out there, I'm sure. So now you're recharging it? Well, because you still got some more stuff to do. Let's check on this. It's actually looking so good. This is our tomato jam. Let's get the steam fan. Nom. Okay, and then I'll write down the bun increments. Divide time six. Check. Proof, 30 minutes, chiggity check-in, got an egg wash, and then what do we bake at? I'm guessing, excuse me, like 350 Fahrenheit? You're going mobile? Okay. Love you, Vicky. Thank you for everything that you contributed today. You know I'll be around for, well, Around five more hours at least. So you can always pop back in later. Hey, my mouse is back. Sweet. So you're saying tree fitty. The only time your batteries ever run out. Nice. Because, yeah, there's just so much leaves this year. <laughs> He's using it. Okay, our brioche buns. Oh, sometimes they bake the brioche buns in a muffin, like a really big muffin tin. Interesting. Oh yeah, and we will, everything spicy too, cause it's so good with like breakfast. Some everything bagel spice on the top of the buns. Holy! Did we not get an alert for that? Vicky's thousand bits, or was I just talking? Vicky, thank you so much for the thousand bit leaves. We're now at 41%. Let's go. She's like, I'm out of here, but wait, there's more. Hi, Lee Donald. How is it going over there? Hey, still looking for my brioche.
375 Fahrenheit. Yay! For only 14 to 18 minutes. That's it. That is not even long. 375F, 14 to 18 minutes. And thank you very much for that as well, Annie. 1,000 more bitlies now at 42%. <laughs> I'll match that. 375F. Yay! 14 to 18. Easy. Mm, that's looking good. <laughs> Cookie. Cookie's like, I'll match that. Another 1,000? Holy... Okay, what do I have to do for you guys for that one? This is almost done, I think. Now that I stirred it up, Yay! there's only a little bit more liquid to cook out. That's exactly how we want it to look. Yeah, it's getting like more and more saucy. Looking more like a spread of sorts for the sandwich. Yes. Kimmers, sheesh, with the 2,000. <laughs> That's a better number, 45%. <laughs> Mickey, you're making pumpkin soup tomorrow? What? 20? We need Bean Boozled while we wait then. Annie needs a balloon. We're in shock. <laughs> You're one month allotment. <laughs> Guys. Gold for Annie. And this little yellow orange one. We'll do a couple for all of you guys. We'll do three. Three of those for the Bitly Crushers. Yeah, just a casual level five. As this slowly finishes, might as well. Oh, nice, LaDonald. Thought you were gonna have 12 hour shift, but you got to go early. So good. Chicken wings forever, Samo. Annie Balloon. Ah, oh, maybe tomorrow at the end of the IRL stream, if we make it back home. We'll pop all the balloons together. Got to open the extra tax. Filling up back there. Nice, Vincent got one. I'm waiting for them to finish and we'll welcome everyone in. We finished? Nice. Hi, Carses. How's the day, friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome to our fun and shenanigans going down. 
Someone's making hummus cups? Yum. I want that. I want that. Healthy. Okay, Annie with the 20 gifted subbies. A total of 675 now over the years. We got Chaser44, Scrabble God, Jodes, or is it Yodes? Rogue Amazonian, CMB2874, Cozy Cali1, Slump D273, Dan Katie, Lazybug007. Nice. I think they were here earlier, right? XT to the era. We got Ice Dialer84, Katniss Ross, Shecht, Crazy Chain116, Princess Mandy85, Albus the Professor, Chat Username, hilarious, Fright Knight, Instant74, and Chak Chakarolis. Thanks for that, Annie. Honk, have fun out there. I hope it doesn't rain. I'll cross my fingers for you. And yeah, just let us know how it goes. Bonk's going to like an outdoor concert, which I think is so cool. I've not done that in many years. It's really fun though. And stay safe out there too, lastly. That's all I got. <laughs> we have steamed ourselves out while we did that. Bye! Have fun, you two! We got a level four completed. We were like halfway through level five. Thanks for the second boost train of the day, everyone. Blast off. <laughs> That's the rocket sounds. 20 subs and all of the bitlies. Can I blow this one up? It's so small. That was so hard. The smaller balloons are way more difficult. This is not soup. This is going to be a condiment. And it's almost done. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. One of your friends is going to Iron Maiden concert in Washington tomorrow. Is that also outside? In the football stadium. That's like how they do it here too. During the summer and fall. It's where they play football as well. The fact that I haven't broken these small balloons, I'm impressed. Yeah, usually when there's just a couple like juice pockets on top now, that's when we know we're so close to being done. So yeah, after we have our breakfast, after we finish our breakfast sando cooking together, then we can roll into our pole for lunch. Well, a series of pulls, really. I think there'll be five. So it'll be about like 10, 10, 15 minutes worth of pulls. Guys will help me choose a bunch of ingredients to use to cook lunch. And then we might do a giveaway because I think we crossed that off too. Yeah, you always think that these like streamathons or marathon streams will go by slow, but they actually go by so quick. That's so cute. Nice, you're all done cleaning. That's another thing that I'll be doing tomorrow after the stream. Mass cleanup. I love those little ones. Capital One Arena. Okay, so it is indoor. 
<laughs> Whoa. Oh no. Not buddy. <laughs> Destruction by Kate. Get back in there. Let's check one more time because I think it's done. Yeah, and then you can see how it's getting like kind of dry underneath. So let's turn this off. Also just give it a taste here because we haven't really tasted it yet. Little scoop to dupe from the side. a little pinch of salt and that's really it it should be like sweet and sour tasting so we did saute onion garlic then we did the cherry tomatoes with the fresh thyme we did cumin brown sugar and apple cider vinegar that's it it's so simple like double the amount of vinegar to sugar and then just some salt and pepper. Mix that up and we'll pour it into a container. You can serve this warm, lukewarm, cold. See this also being like a good sort of condiment to eat with like your cheese board or something like that. We got options. How do I want to do this? Maybe I'll move this down first. I've made this stuff so many times. But it's very easy for me to make this. And like, it actually comes out on the first try. So good. Oh gosh. Splashing. Good thing I'm wearing black. Nice. This is kind of the amount that I wanted to make with this too. Is like two cups worth. Not too much. That way if there is a lot extra, I can just pop this little cup in the freezer when we go. Yummo. Tomato jam. Thank you for the follow, Harshkoff. How are you doing today? I think I'll just pop this right here. Let it cool off. Dun, dun, dun. Like the combination of cooked diced tomatoes with also raw cubed tomatoes for salsa. Yeah. Like the best of both worlds. <laughs> yeah. Throw the tomato jam on the butterboard cookie. Okay, should we make our sausage patties? And then I'm just gonna go grab the egg white out of the fridge so I can warm up a bit for the egg wash. We saved that yesterday. Oh, and I'll grab the mayo while I'm here. I think we're just gonna do plain mayo. Cause the way that that tomato jam turned out is so good. I don't really need anything else. Can you have it warm or does it need to be cooked? Yeah, you can serve it warm. You could even serve it cold. It's really up to you. <laughs> My bat is hitting the <laughs> above camera there. Oops. They're wilding. 
So next we're gonna form our sausage patties from a mix that we did on stream once upon a time. Let's use some parchment to like smash the patties down. Even that out first. Hello, boss man. Welcome in, friend. What are we cooking today? We're cooking a lot of stuff, but we are starting with the first thing listed there, which is our sausage breakfast sandwich. Do that, and then we'll cut that smaller. Basically like patty paper, I guess. that and crimson how's it going today if i missed you earlier can i hold this and cut it maybe not kind of okay sounds good annie go crush that got this it is gonna be delicious boss man okay we got like a four stack there should be lots if you could ever source pasteurized eggs you'll start making your own mayo aioli you don't just want to use like non-pasteurized like just regular eggs i'm just gonna put some gloves on so i don't have to touch the raw sausage mix you haven't had any food yet today weasel i actually haven't eaten a ton yet today either holding out for this breakfast sando let's do this kind of lay it out Oh, not with the kiddos. That's fair. That's fair. Ah. Don't. Oh, even the sausage is super garlicky. So yeah, I'm happy I didn't do the garlic mayo. That actually seems like a good size. Like we're not making the sausage like a burger. But it doesn't have to be like a five or six ounce patty, right? Probably better yielded to like a three to four ounce patty for a breakfast sandwich. You're eating a cheese roll, Mary? Nom. Hi, Vicariously, how are you? Yeah, I hope everyone's good. So far, so good. It's been a busy, a good busy morning, let's say. I'm doing good. The weather is just like, Kind of the weather that makes you want to stay inside all day. But that's to be expected for this time of year. And I think I'm just like... Kind of in a bittersweet little moment or headspace as well. As this is like one of the last cooking streams for a bit. Okay, so we got five sausage patties. Nice. Nice. I was aiming for four, so that works. That one's just a bit smaller. I'll take that off. Maybe that. Even it out. Notice how I didn't really overwork the sausage at all. Just kind of loosely balling it up. Do a bit more. So this is what I'm gonna do. We will stack all of them onto this one paper. Put that there. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna take one of my gloves off. Let's do the right hand for this part. We're gonna take this other piece of paper, give it a little press. Then we're gonna take a really big can of tomatoes. 